really dramatic and amplified. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a bad, creepy man. <laughs> I can pay for things, but I had to know what to pay for. It's a freaking miracle. Is it very likely I'm gonna die of heart disease? So this is. This morning, cat lady get massage to Tony, and after this, make a breakfast. Cat lady, she like to cook healthy and so good, and Leo like her food also. It's really hard to get the girls to take supplements, so I just pick a couple that I think are the most important for them to take. I've got all the girls on tessafensine right now. This is a fat loss and appetite suppressant supplement, so it's kind of weird to be giving it to puppy because she's so small she doesn't need to lose fat. But I'm giving it to her for the nootropic benefits. This makes her smarter, it gives her more energy, and it gives her more motivation. So she works harder and it's easier for her to learn. Since it's got a long half-life, even if she skips a day, it's still working. It works for like five days after you take it. So that's another reason I like this one is because even if she only takes it four days a week, it's still working seven days a week. And one of my biggest pet peeves with women is I don't like laziness and I don't like the inability or lack of interest to learn. So this fixes that. It's a freaking miracle. So my morning nootropic stack this morning, because it's different every single morning, is going to be only 75 milligrams of modafinil, very low dosage. I'm also taking 20 micrograms of clenbuterol, which I rarely take, but I take it for the energy for the fat loss, and I take it with nebivalol. That way this blocks the side effects of clenbuterol on my heart, keeps my heart rate lower, keeps me more relaxed so I don't get anxious from the clenbuterol. And then I'm taking Bacopa Maneri, and ginkgo biloba and uh and then alpha gpc so that's that's it for this morning it's again it's completely different every morning it's what i feel like how much mental performance i need how long i need the mental performance to last uh you know what time i wake up if i wake up late i might use something shorter acting if i wake up really early i might use something much longer acting. so cat lady's also getting tessofensine but I'm also giving her supplements to heal her nail. She smashed her finger and her entire fingernail got destroyed. Whatever like health issue comes up, I have a supplement or a protocol for pretty much anything. So I'm, I'm sort of like all the girls doctor. And then I give them health supplements to, you know, just prevent heart disease, prevent diabetes, prevent cancer, all these type of things. Because if I'm gonna be with them long term, and they have health problems, then that becomes my liability. I mean, that's my selfish reason. My unselfish reason is that I, I care about them. And want this is my morning stack to protect my heart and my cardiovascular system from the steroids. And because I have the APOE4 genetic variant, which makes it very likely I'm gonna die of heart disease. So this is basically saving my life. Ezidamide, Telmisartan, Nibivalol. And then Fuvoxamine is one that Leo's convinced me rebuilds the brain neurogenesis over time so i just started taking fluvoxamine he says it takes a little bit of time for it to start building neurogenesis it's an ssri i'm a little nervous about taking it but i'm gonna give it a shot per leo today i'm a little nervous because i have another young younger really cute girl that i'm going to introduce to the harem in the house so i also have to look younger I'm gonna put black hair dye in my hair. I do this maybe once a week. I mean, I don't go for perfection. I just put it in quickly just to, not even trying to get rid of the gray. It's just like decrease the amount of gray on the sides of the hair. I feel like a girl sometimes. Look at, I'm trying to make myself look better and younger so that I can hang out with these younger girls. Now the trick is, I get a little bit of the hair dye actually on the scalp under the hair, which makes the hair look thicker. So you can't see as much scalp. Every morning, check my physique in the mirror, see how it reacted to my previous day's supplements and diet. Open the door. <laughs> Open the door. Say, say, this is my small room because I'm small. You're the only one that can fit in there. We can't, I can't fit in there. I'm too big. Yes, you're too big. <laughs> you going to meet new friend today? Maybe. It's no problem. You want to sleep? Okay. You want massage? Go? Okay. We are go. My room. But before my room, I don't want surprise. In the morning, wake up, what? Who is this? What? Stranger. <laughs> what? 
it not be okay so but what but what's what's the plan gonna be like i have her come over later after work maybe we can play together make sense talk together make friends and what did you what did you want to do she cat lady say there's something that you some place you like to go for photo or something just have idea to restaurant like a fancy restaurant okay where oh silver lake but i forgot oh silver city. lake okay a little bit of drive huh yes take taxi yeah big and fancy but i think expensive also it's okay uh -huh. can but this is good i want you to come up with good ideas for us you know because you know thailand more than me uh -huh. right i can pay for things but i i don't know what to pay for i don't know what we get what we do but i have a list of ideas in my phone we can go through. all right leo has surfaced from his research cave leo spends most of his time researching uh the ultra nerd despite the tattoos and, True. The, and the big biceps True. no not small biceps yeah so now we're going to go into the recording studio and go over what he's discovered from his research and shoot some youtube videos on it and i have coffee because i've seemed to take an i've taken a third blood pressure medication and I seem to have overdone it. I took amlopidine today, so I, I'm quite lightheaded. <laughs> any any specific supplements that you that are interesting that you're taking? What is interesting? I wanted to film is, you know, before I used to buy most of my medications in Portugal from a pharmacy, and here I was trying to do so too. I realized that Swiss Chems carries almost everything I take. Imagine this: before I even knew any of these people, they're providing fluvoxamine, ezetimibe. There's no resuvastatin, right? Fluvoxamine is etamide. Then there's the cardrian, the GW. Talmasartan. Then there's the Talmasartan. So there's a lot of things. So I basically have a Swiss Chem's row in my room. I should yeah. show it later. I basically took the whole stack this morning that you recommend that I take because mm -hmm. of my APOE4 variant. Ex except, but you're not taking the SGLT2 inhibitors and pagliflozin or dapagliflozin. Mm -hmm. And Rapatha. I'm still waiting for Rapatha also. Oh, you want to take Rapatha also? Yeah, eventually I'll get it. So I'm taking amlopidine now, which is a channel, uh, calcium channel blocker, which may, there's some evidence of it, not undoing, but stopping the calcification of arteries and blood vessels. So I, I'm experimenting with it a little bit, although to be honest, the evidence is stronger for ARBs than calcium channel blockers. I'm experimenting with that and... I don't know what else naltrexone naltrexone today we have to go get naltrexone also okay so leo i'm bringing a new girl into the harem tonight and this girl has no idea what's about to happen and it's going to take all of my skills that i've learned <laughs> to try to finesse this because you know girls come and go but the main ones that are always here are like puppy and cat lady or t kind of 24 7 and uh you know living with me full time and other ones like come other times i told them and cat lady's response was okay Good. Thank you for telling me like in the morning, not like springing on me last second so I can mentally prepare. And okay, good. I'll plan some things to make her feel more comfortable. So she's being very helpful. And then puppy said one thing. Basically, she said, okay, but I don't want her playing with my toys. <laughs> she said basically, okay, but I don't want her playing with my makeup or wearing my clothes. <laughs> like like a little kid. Like she looks like she looks Tony. like she acts she acts like a little kid. Like, oh, it's totally fine. You can have more girlfriends. Just as long as they don't play with my makeup or my clothes. <laughs> Tony's very happy because what two months ago it was a totally different disaster. The, totally different. Like life is so much better now. And you're I think you're underdoing how how wonderful Cat Lady is. She's being very she's like She's like the organ. She's like the pin that holds everything together. She's I needed a harem queen, and it looks like I didn't know if she was. I knew she was capable, but I didn't know if she would actually do it. And now she's actually doing it. That's true. She's actually, able to manage the other girls. It's actually no, he's not exaggerating. It's a very good situation. And the good thing is, the new lady you're bringing in is very, very pretty. Uh, I mean, not my type, but by my, by yeah, no, but she's very pretty. Standards, but yeah. she's legit pretty. So yeah. objectively, so this yeah. is a. Not that not that prettiness is important, but the interesting thing when you have like a group of women, they judge you based on the new person. So if you bring in a new person that they don't find attractive, even if you do, you lose respect, which is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So you won't lose any respect here. So you're moving up the game a little bit. <laughs> it should be an exciting day. Leo, this is for the vlog. What are you doing? What? Yeah. I'm taking HMG up. HMG? Why are you taking HMG? Because I need to recover steroidogenesis. <laughs> well, actually, the real reason is we don't have a uh, recombinant FSH in Thailand, right? There's very, there's very few uh, things you can use. HMG has both uh, LH and FSH alternatives. Okay, I'm gonna take still my low dosage trend, acetate, mint, uh, anadrol, and testosterone. Very low dosage. Yeah, I know low dose. Micro dosing. Nice compounds though. Micro dosing. Hey puppy, the PRS gym is closed today. Can you use Google Maps and find what other gym you want to go to today? 
and just sit by the pool. Tony is trying to figure out what I do in my life. I'm just waiting for Tony to go to the gym. And I'm sitting by the pool. Hey, let me let me show you something. Tony, show them the fountains. So we just moved in here. Within two or three days, Tony was interestingly subconsciously bothered by the fact that there are two angels. Uh, and you wanted to replace one of them with a naked lady. You can't make this up. You can't make with naked ladies everywhere. You can't make this up. It's true. <laughs> been still hanging in the house and now I'm looking for uh, bathing suit and gym clothes. I've not been getting enough calories, so I'm gonna hit some Synthesix, treating it like a mass gainer, an expensive mass gainer. Definitely don't think of this as a protein powder because it's got way too much sugar and fat and calories. This is just like trying to make up for not eating enough. So, Tony wanted to film us getting on his motorcycle. I want to point out something. There's three of us getting on one motorcycle. This is a unique tie thing. I've never seen this anywhere else in the world. She's sitting in front, then Tony, then me. Surprisingly, it's a bit comfortable. Why don't I have my own motorcycle, even though I'm getting on one? It's because I'm very fearful of dying in a stupid way. And I went to one before and I realized I can't drive a motorcycle. I'm not used to it, so I'm trusting Tony a bit more. But if I do die, please everyone blame Tony. <laughs> Today we came to Bear Gym, which is a Russian gym. We're going to be the only non-Russians in there. Watch how awkward it is. I'm going to videotape as we walk in so you can see the reaction. <laughs> All right, so this is the third floor. This is like cardio and abs. And then now we're going to go down to the, the second floor. Oh, oh, the stairs are narrow. Be careful. Second floor, here we are. So mostly the machines, this half, free weights. The other half, and then we'll go down to the first floor where Leo's training right now. There's Leo's training, see? And puppy's gonna do some stiff leg deadlifts for her glutes and her hamstrings. What do you think, Leo? <laughs> Leo's filming me. The behind the behind the scenes. This is behind the scenes. Puppy, look at me. What's bigger, my chest or puppy? Fountain for romantic pictures. Post-workout meal is chicken fajita bowl with a blended coffee drink and kombucha. And one of the things I'm most appreciative of in Thailand is the butt sprayer. Oh, it's hard to go back to countries that don't have butt sprayers. It's a great post-workout meal, and we got some good photos here, and this is a beautiful some little community here. Very it doesn't feel like Thailand. Feel, feels like we're in Italy here, huh? Very, very funny conversation. I wish I could have recorded it. <laughs> we're at this little zoo thing, and we're going to look at the animals after lunch. Like, there's chickens. Oh, there's people. We can watch people in the cage. I just lost brain cells, fucking with me. <laughs> Why the fuck is it like that? Is it the horse bunnies, cat poop? Bunnies. Why is it short? I love Bunny rabbits. Pet the rabbit, Leo. No. They want to see it on the video. They so want to see us. Tony pet a thinks I need to pet a rabbit. I don't want to pet a strange animal and get any kind of weird viruses or anything like that. There's tyke, a bunch of Thai kids are petting the rabbit. They might have the viruses too. Are you going to let your kids pet the rabbit someday when you've got kids and you take them to the zoo? No. You're not going to take your kids to the zoo? No. I'm not going to touch them to the petting zoo, no. Oh, you're going to keep them in a bubble at home. Actually, there's research on this. It shows that if you raise your children with animals earlier in life, like the age of two, three, they have worse immune systems later in life. If you raise them with animals later in their childhood, like 10 years old, 12 years old, they have better immune systems. There's a reason why I do everything. Got to think through things. <laughs> Leo, what are these? Uh, I don't know. I've never seen these things before. Would you pet these? Or no I'm much more interested in petting these. They're, they're a little I'm having bit heartburn, so I'm going to take DGL, deglycerinized licorice. That makes my soothes my stomach. And I'm also feeling a little overstimulated from the clenbuterol. 
and I only took 20 micrograms, but I'm so sensitive to it. So I took a quick nap, only 10 minutes just now, and I took propanolol, but it wasn't effective enough. I only take 10 milligrams. I would have needed a higher dosage. So I am going to take five more milligrams of nabivolol right now, which is more selective for the heart. So the clenbuterol can still do its job in burning fat, building muscle, but blocking the effects of the clenbuterol on my heart so my heart rate can come down. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a bad, creepy man. She's hiding in the corner right now. But I have to use Google Translate to find out why is she hiding in the corner. Tony. Yeah. Say hi. <laughs> why are we videoing? We're, We're both videoing, videoing each other. other. Say hi to my Tatar friend. This lady friend doesn't want to visit us next weekend. Oh, okay. Because she said we've only just met. And I want okay. to show. This is me and Tony. We have a house here. We're very safe. Yeah. And nice people. These are Tony's <laughs> Thai friends. I don't have a Thai friend, so I need a Tatar friend. Yeah. Okay. I need to figure out how to make her feel at home because she she doesn't speak English. It's hard show to the situation. So there's no, but she's having it, but the other but girls are trying to make look her feel how the other come too. Everyone's trying to make her feel welcome, but she's like standing we and can't get using her, to her communicate. phone and not speaking. So we're going to try. The problem is the language barrier here. Like literally, we can't communicate. So we have to have the other ladies communicate to the new ladies for us. Which who That's knows what's getting lost in translation? Yeah, it's <laughs> supposed to work that way, but for some reason it's not really meshing right now. <laughs> You know what I think it is? I think these young girls that like to party, they get so used to being on alcohol that could when be they're true. not could on alcohol, true. they don't have any idea how to act. That could be true. Well, this And I, I hate to like give her alcohol. I don't want to give her alcohol. I prefer girls not be on alcohol, but it's like without the alcohol, they're so uncomfortable and so anxious. It's almost like they're having withdrawal. No, you know that's a real thing in prostitution, actually. In, in America, prostitutes often develop drug dependencies because they're trying to... This is not the situation here. They're just in bars all, all day, so I think they drink all the time. Mm. But yeah, that's true. She's very awkward. Okay, we'll try. I mean, cat lady's got her bathing suit on, want to go in the pool with her. So, I mean, if we can get her in the pool, she'll feel comfortable. I'm going to turn the music up. Turn the music up and try to get, try to get them all playing with each other. But it's no guarantee, even though it's Hera. The girls like to be separate, not having sex together unless they get like drunk or had a really really fun evening that they can that they can do it <laughs> so puppy remind me what our first date was what did we what did we do you told me to ha uh, you set up hang, hanging for hand tours build, build the rack to store yeah, the yeah. to store the cosplay yeah i do almost five hours i put i put her to work on the first and date i forgot about that and, and clean my living room and what are you doing right now <laughs> Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> but happy? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Big tip. <laughs> so now here's what I love the most. I love working, and I love researching, and I love knowing that the girls are in the other room occupying themselves and getting ready for whenever I want to spend time with them. It is the ultimate efficiency, which is kind of shocking because usually the more women, the more drama. And when it does get dramatic, it gets really dramatic and amplified. But when there's no drama, it's amazing. Multiple women all entertaining themselves while I can be productive and then play with them at any time that I want. Like finally, after a lifetime of work, I think I've perfected my ultimate lifestyle. Like as of now, at age 40, I think I finally got my dream set up as far as relationship and work life. Okay, conversation takes a while because we have to Google Translate. What's, what's it say? Oh, she's teaching her how to use the new water filter. Want to go, oh, to the shop. Okay, okay, can. Okay, the harem quest was a little bit too intense for her. She got a little bit scared, so she is kind that wants to be alone with me, but not want to be, you know, interacting with the other girls yet. But we're going to ease her into it. This is day, this is our first, or this is our second date. Um, so as she gets more comfortable, I, I think she will like the lifestyle. But I don't want her to be bored if she doesn't like it. Now I'm going to catch up on the messages for the day and responding to client protocols. And they get to watch the movie in the background while giving me a massage. Leo, he took too many sleeping pills. Sleeping? <laughs> like a baby. I've just been working late night on the computer. It's 1 a.m. now, 
Uh, but remember, I took a quick nap early, so that's why I don't need to sleep much at night. But now at this point, I, you know, hit the ganja, and then I just snack at the refrigerator. And the refrigerator is always packed with food, so I end up getting most of my calories at the end of the day. Rampaging the fridge. Oh, I also installed these colored lights. Those ones were already there. I installed those plus some ones upstairs. Now it's time to close down the office. And oh, this is the Schumann resonance machine. So that sends vibrations through our body to stabilize us or something like that. Look up Schumann, S-C-H-U-M-A-N, something like that. You might find it kind of interesting. See if you believe in it or not. Okay, this will be my final snack of the night. This is keto chocolate bread. It's kind of like a brownie, but less sweet tasting. And this is chocolate protein milk. As you can tell, I really, really like chocolate the later it gets. Okay, this is what's actually gonna put me to sleep tonight. Now I'm gonna take sleep juice and I'm gonna mix it with EAA, mainly just because this has alpha GPC in it which you'd think is stimulatory and would interfere with sleep, but actually it fuels REM sleep. And I need everything I can to fuel REM sleep because weed interferes with REM sleep. And I've been deficient in REM sleep for a long time until Leo finally made me realize that's what the part of my sleep that I've been missing. I got plenty of deep sleep. So here we go. Here we go. REM sleep. Yay.